Hello everybody, today's tutorial will be presented by Lazar Juric, who is a friend of mine and a colleague of mine, and he will be joining us here at How to Rhino. His specialty is Grasshopper, and in the, in the future he will be creating also Grasshopper tutorials here on the channel. So this is just a short introduction, and after this video we'll also publish uh, an interview with Lazar, and uh, we'll announce something special that's coming here on the channel. So, enjoy! Hello guys, so welcome to the new tutorial. Today we are going to be talking how to model project called uh, Dermark Psycho Pavilion uh, using only Grasshopper. It's an um, installation in the Dermark, as I said, designed by the artist uh, Tilo Frank. It contains a bulkway with uh, 200 uh, wooden frames. So this is our final result. Without further ado, let's get started. So first we will create the point. We can reference it from the Rhino. So we have a point here. Then we will create the circle. The command uh, circle um, C and R. This will be the center of our circle. Then let's say we'll create the slider from 0 to let's say 30. Okay, 50. It's a radius. We need to plug in the, in the radius. Okay. So we have a circle. Then when we have a circle, we will divide it by the perpendicular frames. Then we'll find that component perpendicular frames, this one. And then we'll create one more one more uh, slider, let's say from 0 to 300, but for the, for the start, let's say 20. And then we can um, construct the polygon on these planes. So, okay, polygon plane we'll connect plane with the let's say, with the output f and you see how on each of these planes uh, we created a polygon but we don't we don't want a hexagon here it's a uh, no, radius segment let's say from 3 to let's say 12 we want to create um, a rectangle actually a square and then four sides then we need to define uh, what is the size of the square okay say from 0 to 10 I can hide these frames okay when we have a uh, rectangles I will open again uh, the pictures so we need to rotate them they're rotated along the circle how we can do that first say okay rotate this is the geometry you want to rotate and this is the planes. Okay, we'll turn it on again. So this is the planes which we want to rotate these rectangles. But we don't know the angle because let's say I will print screen. This one will stay the same. This one will rotate a little bit. Then this one a little bit more, so this is rotation zero, and this is oh, and 360 degrees because this one will be rotated as well. Maybe simplify this. I will explain you. So we want 360 divided by 12 planes, so by 30 degrees. So in this case, each of these rectangles should be rotated by 30 degrees more than the previous one but 
what if we change the number of the planes because later on we will need 200 if you remember from the beginning as i said this installation contained 200 frames so what if we want to rotate so we need to create a mathematical function but before that we'll start from domain zero to three hundred sixty all right and there is a component range range allow us to distribute numbers equally within certain domain for example if we have domain from 0 to 360 and we want to distribute on 12 equal divisions we will get 13 outputs mm, so let's visualize this range component imagine if this is our domain from 0 to 360 and then we divide into four four divisions so this is first division second third and fourth we get five values here this is one value second third four and fifth five values so this is this five values so 0 90 180 270 360 okay but in this case it's not four here i just for the sake of uh, clarity i put four but we have here let's say 12. and then let's see what is the next issue here we have uh, 12 items from 0 to 11 and here we have 13 so we need to call the last one call index and we want to call with the number 12 so the index number 12 we'll connect this with the 12 and right now the output will be okay this one this is correct and one, one more thing this is the angles but we want to we want to convert the angles into ra radians because here you see the rotation angle in radians there are two options one we can use component radians and then convert with, with this or we can right click on the A and then here select degrees I always prefer to use the component for for, for example if somebody is still beginner and uh, I send to send to them my definition maybe they will not know what does it mean this circle okay so I will plug this into input A and then we got rotated squares I will again hide this okay. let's check what is the out oh, what is this the geometry right now how it looks I will loft it oh sorry I just want to check this is not we don't need this for the definition I just want to visualize how it looks all right now we have rotated the uh, geometry okay okay let's change now because we need 200 frames to see how it looks but we need to cut these squares how we can do that the best thing is to create a plane plane we will 
connect with the initial point and then we will move along z axis but we don't know how much we we need to move along z axis because okay i'll show you what i want to say right now our plane is here but i want it to be somewhere somewhere here somewhere here i can use the the i can put the slider here and say i want to move in minus whatever but every time when we change the radius of the circle or the size of the square we would need to change this number here but i want to create this dimension based on the size of the square this would be more complex but this is just for the sake of uh, making this definition more complex and uh, just also i want to i want you to learn a new things we'll use remap so i want to make a remap i want to remap this number and uh, create a domain from 0 to 1 i will explain you why i'm doing this First, I'm from 0 to 1. No, sorry, it should be here. And then here, slider, where the minimum is 0 and maximum is 1. And then here, I will, for the, for the target domain, will be from 0 to the size of the square okay so here we have from 0 to the 4.62 this is the side of the square and here the source domain is from 0 to 1 and when this value here is a 1 the output will be the size of the square oh sorry i didn't connect this here the size of the square okay but if this output is let's say 0 0.5 then we'll move the horizontal plane half of the size of the square so basically you see whatever here is the size of the square we will always we don't need to calculate this every time so this part is connected with the radius of the of this square later on i'm not sure where this should be positioned but oh, let's say for the beginning 0.8 or maybe 0 0.7 okay so let me lower it down this slider for the for the size of the square all right so right now we want to cut these squares based on this plane the command is curve plane just type curve plane it's here and it's located here so we want to plug the curve into input curve and then this plane to input plane and we got the section points this will be just a moment. Six. 
and we got the point where our plane is cutting the squares. Sorry, let me lower it down again. Okay, this is much more clear. So when we have these points, we want to remove this part here and keep just the upper part. So for each this curve, we want to keep the upper part and we want to remove sorry and we want to remove this we will cut this using component shutter so but just just to again hide maybe i will keep this let me check the data tree here All right, so we need to make these two component to have the same data tree. So we need to graft this one, this. Okay, right now we have 12 branches, 12 branches. And then this T parameter goes into T here. What it does let me show you and this number 28.284271 is the length of the curve i will visualize this so 28.28 something and then this value here means where this point is positioned on the curve so this number here represent this point and the other value represent the other point and again for the, for the for the next curve for example this value first will represent one point and the other represent the other point where is the where it is position on the curve these numbers here cannot be uh, larger than the length of the curve that's I, I i hope that part it's clear okay and let's check what is the output here two polylines that's what we need this is one polyline and this is second polyline as i said we need to remove the polyline which has the smaller length how we can do that let's say sort sort these curves based on their length first the length is the, the length of the smaller curve and the second length is the length of the larger curve which we want to keep if we reverse this one and reverse this one here result is the same as before here just this time these two curves are sorted by the length we need to keep item with the zero index zero index I will delete this I 
and as you can see we have just these curves if you want to offset inside or outside doesn't matter offset offset curve this curve we want to offset plane plane it's this plane is for the from the beginning of the definition so this is planes and here is the distance sorry I know what is the problem because the data tree is not the same here we have 12 branches but here we have one branch with 12 with 12 uh, items so here I need to I need to grab it. And we want to loft this, uh, the inside and outside curve. Loft. But we cannot loft because we have here six zeros. Here we have five. We need to simplify this tree here and this tree, data tree here. Right now it's possible to love them okay we got the surfaces it's not the lines anymore and we need to add the thickness extrude in which direction to extrude, extrude big it's not one vector extrusion vector for all of these surfaces right now it should be different how we can extrude let's visualize this I mean this surface should be extruded in this direction the next one in this direction next one in this one so how we can get these vectors we can get them the first thing what came to my mind is the horizontal frames um, this is not perpendicular frames it's horizontal frames use this curve and well okay so you see here we want to extrude the surface into red direction red always means x axis so deconstruct plane deconstruct plane and use x axis of the plane for how much we want to extrude let's create a slider from 0 to 0 0.3 let's see what we got oh again data tree we have to graph this don't forget to graph this and that's it let's say 200 and we got our wooden frames it looks quite big right now Maybe it should be smaller, three meters. This looks too thick. So you can modify these numbers later on as you wish. And we can create this walkway. This time we'll use um, command circle. We'll use the same plane which we used before for the for the cutting the cutting of the squares so 
this is the plane and the radius let's say 15 and and we have the radius the best thing it is to offset into two direction maybe we can offset one here and the other here and then we will create this walkway offset this is the plane this is the curve and we need to offset into two direction how we can do that say offset one and offset minus one Let's see here one and minus one this is the direction and we got two curves but before lofting it we have to flatten them in order to loft and we got the walkway okay guys if you want to know how to put transparent background in the grasshopper subscribe to our patreon page there you can download all project files thank you for listening to today's tutorial i hope you like it if you have any question feel free to put in the comment section down below until next time take care and see you soon